Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 221. That is, what is a build? Let me answer. So what is a build? The process of converting the source code files to usable software is known as a build. Okay, let me explain this uh, line in a more better way, okay? You see what the developers will do. Developers will write the code, right? For developing a software, developers have to write a lot of lines of code, okay? Let's say this is the code that developers have written in any of the programming languages, okay? A set of programming languages that developers have used for writing all this code, okay? And here only one file is there. Here multiple files they will be writing, okay? In order to build a software, single file is enough? No. They have to write in multiple files, okay? Like this multiple files, the developers will be writing the source code of the application in any of the set of programming languages that are suitable for building the application, okay? Like this, they will be writing the code. This is all good so far, okay? So after writing the code, after writing the code for building the software, finally, what the developers will do is, this complete code, okay, okay? This complete code, the developers have to convert into a usable software, okay? The usable software means anything that we can use, okay? They have to convert that into a usable software, usable software, okay? They have to convert that into usable. How they will convert? The source code will be written in any program. If you take Java, okay? It will be in plain English, right? Uh, some keywords of Java will be in, visible in English language, okay? So, that code in order to run on any machine, okay, need to be converted into the machine code, which is nothing but the byte code. So first, the developers have to compile the code. Okay, developers will compile the code. All the source code which is written in any of the programming languages like Java, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? That need to be compiled. Compiled means byte code. Only the computers or machines will understand zeros, ones will be there, such kind of code, okay? It will be compiled. Not only that, guys, after compiling, it will be compressed, okay? This compiled code will be compressed, okay? Compressed means optimized or reduced in size, okay? You cannot take a GBs of a particular software and install, right? That's not a good idea. So first, they will compile the source code. They have written in the any of the programming languages or set of programming languages for building the application that source code will be compiled. That means that that code will be converted into a machine understandable code that is byte code. And that will be in lot of size, okay? When uh, after they compile also, the size of these files will be more and they have to compress it. You know what is compressing, right? It's everyone knows what is compressing. Why do we zip, okay? In our machines, why do we zip the files? We'll reduce the size, right? We'll compress them. We'll reduce the size like that. They will compress and come up with something known as, okay, after compressing, using some tools will be there, guys. Okay, in order to compress, there are a lot of tools like uh, Maven and uh, many tools are there in the market, guys. Let's not dig deep, okay? After compiling, compressing, using some tools, okay, they will create a build, okay? After compressing, a build will be created with the help of the tools. So that will be in the form of exe file, okay? If, if that particular software that the uh, developers are building or writing the code for, is a desktop software, okay, or a software which runs on an operating system, then they are going to give you, if for Windows machine, they are going to give the build in the form of exe file, okay? They are going to give the usable software in the form of exe file. Or if, if that particular software need to run on a browser, they will give application URL they will give, okay? Or if, the, if that particular software need to run on a mobile, okay? Uh, especially let's say Android mobile, APK file they will give, APK file, okay? Different extensions will be there. So, so these this are known as builds, okay? For the software testers. Builds are for the software testers. These builds will be given for the software testers for testing guys, okay? Uh, every time they change the code in the software, they compile it, compress it using some software and convert them into either exe file or application URL or APK file based on the type of the software and give it to the, software testers. So what the software testers will do after receiving this kind of builds, software testers will install this exe file in order to perform testing. 
okay or software testers will open this application url in the browser in order for testing or the software testers will take this apk file install that in the mobile mobile uh, mobile environment uh, install it and test it okay so the builds will be received by from the developers by the software testers okay builds are nothing but the usable softwares which can be installed in the respective environments based on their types so hope guys you understood what exactly is a build it is the process of converting the developers will be converting the whatever the uh, code they have written for building the software right they are converting that into a usable software or nothing but called as a build which can be used by software testers for testing in their environment okay that is called as a build guys build can be in the form of an application url build can be in the form of an exe file build can be in the form of a apk file depending on the type of the software and type of the env environment in which it has to run so hope guys you understood what exactly is a build in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye